Hi guys! I'm back! Again! And today I'm going to do the 10 most influential books tag. I'm working on the Thailand video, but I need some more time because I have to reminisce and explain the clips because some of them are pretty weird, so yeah, I need some time and yeah, you'll, you'll get that video, I promise. And I love that there were some support, so thanks. But now, let's do this tag. I'm gonna do it like some booktubers have done it, you know, say a little bit about the books um, and not just hold them up, but I'm not gonna go in depth, you know, explaining stuff. So, yeah, maybe I will because you know how how rambly I can get. But anyway, let's get, begin. The first most influential book I, you know, one of them, is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I know I always say that in a British accent, kind of, but you know. And Harry Potter in general, but also the Goblet of Fire because these were my copies of the books. Me and my sister got the four first books. When we got the four first books, I got the first one, she got the second one, she got the third one, and I got the fourth one, I think. So these are mine, and I really love them. And the first one and the fourth one are, you know, one, two of my favorites. And I will just show you, because these are new copies. These are no whole and these stay together but i will just show you how they looked well the original ones ones i got when i was a kid this i have been taped together um pages are falling out um yeah it's pretty messy um so i got a new one and this is the fourth one I love them. I, I read them a lot. <laughs> so that's the first book, the Harry Potter series in general. And the second book is The Sun Also Rises, because this taught me that regular people can have exciting too, you know. I, it taught me to read classics and enjoy them, and I really enjoy this book. Anyway. <laughs> the next book is The Lord of the Rings Trilogy, and this book showed me that you can really travel other places while reading books. This transported me into a whole nother world, not like the Harry Potter books where are just in our world but another place. This is actually another world and it feels so real and I love this book and this is my mass, you know, this ha big book that I can use as a weapon during the zombie apocalypse. The next book is City of Bones and this got me into reading again because I had a big slump between my Lord of the Rings fantasy and this book so I bought this book I think 2011 and since then I have been reading like crazy. The next book is The Hobbit. and. This book showed me, or taught me, that even old people, I can relate to old people because I know that Frodo is 50, but I saw the movies first, so in my head he was like 20, so I could relate to him. But while I was gonna read this, I was like, the hobbit in this is a 50 year old man. How can I relate to that? But it turns out I can. So I love Bilbo so much. So, and this is my new fancy copy of The Hobbit. The next book is A Prince's Diaries series by Meg Cabot. And this book, I have read this book 10,000 times, I think. And it really is a great series. And it has stayed with me ever since I was like 12, so it means a lot to me. The next book is Gone with the Wind. And I don't really know why these mean this book means so much to me. I think I, I really like it and I really like the characters, even though they are 
mean, but I, I don't know, it just really speaks to me and I love that Scarlett O'Hara is so sassy. Okay, uh, the next book is, well, I got this when I was kind of like five, I think, and it's um, Children of the World. It's a UNICEF book. They, you know, made it so children could see how children in other countries live. And it's really made me want to experience these cultures and travel the world and help people and be generally a good person. So this book has mean, meant so much to me and I still read it sometimes and these kids in these books are like, I know them. Especially this kid. She lives in Brazil. I think she's like 30 now, but you know, I really wanted to be like her. Next book is Clockwork Prince or the Infertile Devices in general because before this I never really felt strong feelings towards the characters and really like felt like they were real because in this book I was so invested, I screamed, I cried, I like, I couldn't handle myself because I was so um, invested. So that book, this book in particular, because a lot happens in this book. And the last book is not really a book, but it's a comic book, but it's Luck -a Luke. And this particular one is uh, the Daltons get kidnapped and <laughs> I'm including this um, comic book because I've been reading them since I was a kid and my dad read them as a kid so like half of the private jokes in my family are from these comic books so <laughs> that means a lot to me and my family so I had to include it in my most influential books I know it's not a book but it's kind of a book anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is my most, 10 most influential books tag. And I tag hmm, 